Point number five of the big hospice mistakes or opportunities, not having clear, impressive, and sustainable standards. Do you have these? Do you have these cards that define your behavioral standards that also have the quantified performance standards of the organization? Again, we've got tons of them that, you know, we can send things out with all, all the MVI goodies that we produce. But you've got to have something uh, done there, and it has to be commonized. We'll talk about this. So clear, impressive, and sustainable standards. There comes a time when an intelligent CEO or leader has experienced enough frustration that they realize the utter need for standardization and systemization in their organization. Again, nobody can say when that enough is. But you know when you hit it and you go, we gotta be doing things different. And MultiView is all about standardization. We've been Six Sigma deep for many, many, many years, you know, and, and these world-class organizations. And what are they doing? And so I've included a few steps. I'm not gonna go into this that deep. You have to define your standards. You have to writ have written documentation to, to commonize. One thing that so many organizations miss out on is that, and we've developed this obviously a little more lately, is this workbook can be wor used not only for developing extraordinary clinical leaders, but this can be basically your operational manual for all your frontline uh, staff, as well as all your indirects. Three done in one. And this is in a word format, and, and you think about that, what I just said. It simplifies things, first of all, you have one manual, so your leaders, your 70 percenters, are being trained up, because you have to have it written down to commonize the material. An oral narrative only has about a 10% retention. So all elite, world-class, Six Sigma, you're gonna have written uh, documentation of, of standards and your ways, your operational manual. Okay, this is good for uh, not only the clinical leader, but all clinicians, because then they can know what they need to do if they want to be a clinical leader someday, because you like to have a career path, and they can hold their leader accountable for the methods of the organization so you don't end up in the ditch. That's powerful. And indirects, because who do indirects live to serve? If we take a look at the back of the chair, we live to serve the clinical manager or, or leader. So they know who their customer is. And why do they live to serve the clinical manager? Because they're the ones replicating that 70%. That's why this makes so much sense. But, okay, we have this out in a word format. Folks can download it. And these, these award-winning organizations do it. The others, you know, they, I don't know. You know, I, I go out and visit, and they still don't have manuals. They've been clients for years. That'll add millions of dollars almost overnight. But it's part of this process of standardization. So define the standards, written, so you, you want to have your manuals, sequence, flow chart, all that. All, you create all the materials for System 7, that is your in intensive training system, PowerPoints, flashcards, all that. And then you start to train your staff. Again, in our case, via System 7. And then uh, position observation, that's done in the labs. That's also done with our mandatory 60-day uh, ride-alongs by clinical leaders. And then analysis of the measurements. Okay, steps of standardization. Again, if I was to ask right now, show me your... Show me your manual. Would you be able to hand me anything? I mean, an organization's almost a joke if they don't have it. Because they're just making it up. Okay, then you adopt a set of best known practices, document them in terms, and this is what MVI does. We provide so many of these best-known practices. Obviously, there's no monopoly on this. You can get it from Toyota, you can get it from Apple, all kinds of other organizations. 
In fact, that's how normally we get more than a 30% deviation is going outside of our business sector into another one and, and transposing that pattern back onto our business. But you have to identify the best known practices or set of them, document them in operational terms, establish clear performance expectations, again, design into po positions a, a state of self-control or self-regulation. Again, most of our work, this is important in hospice and home health, because most of our work is not supervised, right? It's done autonomously. We can't have a, 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 a supervisor along in every visit. So people have to learn how to self-regulate. So again, that's why we designed this position state of self-control. Then train everyone until they can do 100% of the standards, 100% uh, of the time, time on a day-to-day -day basis and at 100% census volume. Again, the characteristics of standards, they need to be clear, impressive, sustainable. And then the sexy part of this is designing this state of self-control, where people know what they're supposed to do, they know why they're doing it, and they know at any time whether they're in standard or out of standard, and use a lot of visual controls. These are IRMs in, our situ uh, in the MVI world, the image recall mechanism. Again, that help people to remember what to do in low energy states. And where each person has the ability and the authority to regulate for long-term client delight. And of course, refresh annually.